A Texas school board unanimously voted to fire a teacher who attempted to report undocumented students in her school district through a series of public tweets. Uh, now, this happened in the Fort Worth, in, uh, Fort Worth Independent School District, who voted eight to nothing to terminate the employment of a woman named Georgia Clark at a special meeting on Tuesday. Now, Clark, who is an English teacher at the a was an English teacher uh, at Amon Carter Riverside High School, tweeted that the school that she worked at had been quote taken over by illegal students from Mexico, and that Trump was elected on the promise that a wall would be built to protect our borders. So you can see sort of the problem here. Uh, now look, the reason that she was fired was not because she held those specific beliefs, as I'm going to uh, explain to you later. No, these tweets got a lot of public attention because basically this woman, while thinking that she was speaking to Donald Trump directly, had actually doxed herself. She gave out her full name and her phone number, thinking that Donald Trump was going to call her up so they can discuss how to get rid of these illegals. That's crazy. Now, the tweet started gaining attention last week, and Clark's account was deleted May 29th, and she was placed on administrative leave after the school district had become aware of them. Now, the tweets were bad. Let me, let me give you some of the information in there without doing any sort of compromising information like her phone number, etc. cetera. Uh, in these messages, she claimed that her school had been taken over, as I said before, by illegal uh, legals from Mexico, although she said they were illegal drug dealers from Mexico and that the principal of the school was protecting those people from prosecution and that everybody in the area was protecting basically these horrible people, these undocumented immigrants along with their drug dealers and all she was doing is trying to do her duty to report them to the authorities so they can be deported. And that's what she was saying. She was also claiming, I came to you because I didn't want reprisal. Which is ironic because reprisal is basically what she got. Uh, now, these were all public, which is not a smart thing if you want to avoid recrimination. Now, here's the thing. She thought that she was sending private messages to the president. And it was a lack of understanding of how Twitter works. That's how she got caught. Uh, according to district documents, Clark told an investigator that she thought that the tweets were direct messages to Trump and did not know that they were public. Well, thank goodness for her not being tech savvy or we never would have found out that this teacher, who, as I'm going to explain, uh, has a really big role in the face of lots of Latino students in her district, um, didn't know technology, was not very tech savvy. Uh, now, here's the thing. Uh, I also agree with this firing because, again, she's living in a completely different reality where anybody who's Latino is illegal and probably a drug dealer. And also because this isn't her first rodeo. This isn't her first problem with race. Uh, she was suspended back in 2013 after she allegedly, allegedly referred to a group of students as Little Mexico and another student as White Bread. That's really strange. Uh, nonetheless, you should not be calling your students those kind of names. Clark is also invest un under investigation after she allegedly told the student to, quote, show me your papers, you are illegal, after the student simply asked for permission to use the bathroom. Really? Really? Hey, uh, you know, Ms. Clark, I, I need to use the bathroom. Where are your papers? Show me your papers. Papers, please. You are illegal. You will be deported. I just want to pee. I mean, you've got to be kidding me. This, this whole thing. I mean, come on, man. Uh, and here's the worst part, right? As I mentioned, there is a large Latino population. Uh, the fourth, uh, the Hispanic student population in the Fort Worth Independent School District is 63%. Over half of all students are Latina. The Fort Worth Star-Telegram also reported that about 88% of the students at the school Clark had been teaching at are Hispanic. That is an overwhelming majority. And yet, here's this teacher who, who was apparently deeply racist teaching them. I mean, 
do you really think that they ended up getting a quality education from Miss Clark? I, I would guess not, but then again, I don't necessarily know. Uh, but thankfully, the board unanimously voted to fire her, eight to nothing, which means, of course, she's out of a job, but will likely find a job in the Trump administration soon. That's just my guess. Look, this is another reminder, man, that these people, they do exist. And thank goodness, they are not very smart. That is one thing that, that really binds racists together, is that there are so many of them that are just not very smart. I mean, then again, if you think that one race is better than the other, generally, you don't quite understand how things work, and you're probably not a smart person to begin with. And uh, the other good thing about them being smart is they usually mess up. And it makes it pretty easy to, to find them and to get them out of some of these high, uh, high positions. Now, again, the reason is because she had so much power and influence over these children. Again, children spend you know, so many hours at school trying to learn and around these people that they have such a profound impact in these people's lives. Wouldn't it be great to have them around teachers who actually cared about them and didn't just consider them terrible people because they might be undocumented? And we don't even necessarily know if those people are undocumented. But she assumes simply because they were Latino. No, they deserve a teacher that will actually allow these kids to have uh, a good education and success later in life. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm gonna have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYTNation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show, you know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.